In this episode, we're going to have another look at Campfire, but it's going to be a little bit different. Currently, with Campfire, if we want to update our software, we can do a once update to update the once command line utility, and then we can run once upgrade to upgrade the running application. However, in this episode, we're going to take the Campfire source code and we're going to use Kamal to deploy instead of the once command line utility. So if we ran the Kamal deploy, this will bundle up our application just as we would expect. It would then deploy it to the server and run all of these services that it would need. And so there's a lot of different things that we have to go through to do this kind of thing. And as a disclaimer, I don't know if it's something that I would really recommend doing if you were just wanting to use the product. However, if there are some tweaks and different things that you're wanting to do to the application to make it fit your needs a bit more, then this could be a maintainable and sound approach to that. Because what we're essentially going to do is to keep a pristine copy of the campfire source code. We're then going to have a separate branch, which has all of our changes along with the Kamal deployment. If we ever want to update campfire, then it should be as simple as replacing the main branches code with the new version of campfire. And then we can rebase it into our Kamal branch. And as another disclaimer, this kind of approach, you'll want to become very familiar with any kind of merge conflict resolution. Because as you are updating your code and you have changes coming in from an external source, you're bound to step on each other's toes. And while we're not going to be looking at any of the merge conflict resolutions in this episode, it is something that you just need to be familiar with. I think this approach that we're going to be doing is pretty non-invasive, but it is having to make a lot of changes. The biggest change is with Redis. Redis was running on the local host from the perspective of the Rails application. It was running within that same Docker container. And we're not going to have that in this case because we're going to set up Redis as an accessory, meaning that it's going to be running in its own separate Docker container outside of the one that is running the Campfire application. And did you know that you can go to railstore.com to get your own Ruby on Rails t-shirt or your Drift and Ruby t-shirt? To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the Pro Membership.